dear students now we are going to discuss the basics of small signal analysis of transistor amplifier so what is mean by small signal analysis why do we need this when a signal level is too small in certain applications like microphone antenna the signal level must be amplified to a desired level for further processing correct so in such cases we need to do small signal analysis in this small signal operation the ac input voltages and currents are in the order of plus or minus 10 percentage of the q point voltages and currents so whenever the input voltage and currents are in the order of plus or minus 10 percentage of q values okay so those are called as small signal operations okay so this small signal analysis is a mathematical model for analyzing the transistor amplifier in a systematic process so in this method the active device is replaced with its small signal equivalent circuit this small signal equivalent circuit can be drawn using any one of the models like hybrid parameter or h parameter model hybrid pi model or re model okay so here hybrid parameters h parameters okay so h i represents input impedance h o represents output impedance h r represents reverse voltage gain and h f represents forward current gain so these four are important hybrid parameters to analyze the transistor circuit so here we can use one more suffix in this point to represent which type of configuration is there in the circuit for example in ce configuration we can mention that value as h i e okay so the second suffix represents what the type of configuration next we are going to draw the small signal equivalent circuit for a simple ce amplifier circuit for that we can consider a ce amplifier circuit as a two port network two port means one is input port another one is output port here the time varying signals are assumed to be the small signals so here input parameters are ib bbe output parameters are ic and pce okay so for this transistor the equivalent hybrid model is given here so the transistor is represented with this four parameters so here hie that is input impedance here hoe that is output impedance hre vc this hre represents a reverse voltage gain hfe represents forward current gain so here to analyze the output side with its impedance value okay then the simplified circuit is given here so in this one we have to neglect the hre as well as hoe okay so the reason is here this hre vc is equal to hre that is reverse voltage gain this vc is nothing but what output current into output resistance so here the load resistance is rl so hre vc is equal to what hre ic into rl this ic that is collector current is nothing but what hfe ib so here this two parameters okay product of this two parameters approximately equal to 0.01 hence we can simply ignore this hre vc value you will understand this one the so next one is this impedance 1 by hoe is far greater than this rl that means this one is far greater than this rl into hoe so hoe is negligible do you all understand this one so we have to neglect this voltage source at this input side and here impedance at the output side so finally we can get the transistor simplified equivalent circuit like this only with this two parameters okay next one is small signal hybrid pi equivalent circuit or re model this method is widely used for analyzing small signal amplifier circuit in this method the transistor is replaced with its equivalent hybrid pi circuit 
with two important parameters R pi and G m. Okay, so here R pi represents the base emitter input resistance. It is also called as diffusion resistance. Okay, so it relates a small signal input base current to the small signal input voltage. So for this small signal analysis, we have to consider the input characteristics that is IB versus VBE. So in this one, we have to consider the Q values IBQ and VBEQ. The slope of this characteristics is given as 1 by R pi. Do you all understand this one? So here, the small signal base current is represented as small IB. Okay. So here, the output current is small i c according to ohm's law r pi is equal to vbe by ib this ib can be calculated from this characteristics curve okay so here this ib small ib is equal to what ibq that is the q value of this base current divided by vt which is multiplied with vbe so what is this vt vt is nothing but the cut in voltage. In case of silicon transistor, its value is what? 0.7 volt. Do you all understand this concept? So that's what given here. R pi is the base emitter input resistance which can relate the small signal input base current to the input voltage. So here VBE is equal to IB into R pi. Here 1 pi R pi is nothing but the slope of the input characteristics. As I told you, R pi is equal to what? VBE by IP. So here the base current, small signal base current is replaced with its equivalent value. VPE divided by that is base emitter voltage, input voltage divided by IBQ divided by VT into VBE. So here VBE, VBE cancel. Then we can move this VT to the numerator. We can get R pi value as VT by IBQ where Vt is nothing but the cutting voltage, okay. As we all know that the current amplification factor that is current gain is equal to the ratio of output to input current. So here beta is equal to what ICQ by IBQ. From this we can write IBQ is equal to beta ICQ by beta. You will understand this one. So we have to substitute this value here. Then this beta goes to the numerator. We can get R pi is equal to beta Vt by I C Q. So this is the value of R pi. Okay. Next one is transconductance. That is G M. So in this hybrid pi model, the output current is a function of input voltage V B E and independent of output voltage. Hence it is called as transconductance because it relates the output current to this input voltage. Okay. So here V T is the cutting voltage. So from this we come to know that the transconductance is directly proportional to ICQ. R pi is inversely proportional to ICQ. Both are a function of Q values. Okay. So next one is hybrid pi model including early effect. In this early represents the name of the person. Okay. So in this method we have to concentrate on this output parameters. Due to the variations in the output collector current or the base to collector reverse bias voltage, the width of this base is getting affected. So this can be considered for our analysis. Okay. So according to Yarley effect, the collector current varies with respect to this VCE. Okay. So in this one, we are going to introduce one more parameter to include early effect that is RO or R0. Okay. RO is equal to dou VCE by dou IC at Q point values. Okay. Advantages of small signal analysis. It is a simple and easy method. It is convenient to use in circuit analysis. The required parameters like R pi GM are readily available with the circuit. Okay. So in this method, the equivalent circuit consists of simple approximation with its important features. Here, we can simply ignore the other less important qualities. Okay, so we have to consider only the important features for our analysis. So these are the advantages of small signal analysis.